NCLEX question of the day. All right, guys, today we're going to be focusing on respiratory, okay? So let's do it. A nurse is caring for a patient with an expected pulmonary embolism. Which clinical manifestations will the nurse anticipate? Select all that apply. So before we go down to our answer choices, we ask ourselves, what is a pulmonary embolism, okay? Emboli stands for clot. Pulmonary stands for lung, so a clot in the lung. Now, what are they going to present with? A, tachycardia. Yes, when you have a clot in your lung, you are going to become hypoxemic because there's a blockage in your gas exchange system, okay? Your heart is going to pick that up and it's going to beat faster. B, tracheal deviation. No. If you watched my reel from yesterday, then you know that a tracheal deviation is characteristic of a tension pneumothorax. Now, bonus point if you can tell me to which side does the trachea deviate in a tension pneumo? C. Anxiety. Yes. Typically, these patients say they have this sense of impending doom. Those are keywords for NCLEX. D. Dyspnea. Dyspnea is the medical term for shortness of breath. And if a patient has a clot in their lungs, do you think they're going to be short of breath? Yes. E. Pleuritic chest pain. Pleuritic chest pain means that there's pain on inspiration. Inspiration is when you inhale. So yes, you're going to have that. And last one, F, bilateral leg swelling. This is incorrect. Remember, a pulmonary embolism is due from a clot. Where can these clots originate? Typically, it's from atrial fibrillation or a deep venous thrombosis, and these are typically found in your lower extremities. So when you have a pulmonary embolism caused by a DVT, it's typically going to present as unilateral leg swelling, so only one leg is swollen. Other contributing factors for a pulmonary embolism include post-operative, so typically post-surgery you'll see patients on short-term anticoagulation like heparin. We also have long-term immobility, people taking oral contraceptives or estrogen therapy, individuals with sickle cell anemia, and lastly remember it might not be a blood clot but it might be a fat emboli and this is caused by long bone fractures, okay? So hope you learned something, follow for more.